Hi everybody, this is Cindy from Bless My Pixels, and I found this book. It, it looks like it's been through tragedy and beyond, but it's really not that old. Um, it is a quotation dictionary, which is really fun, and it's from 1987, but apparently it had a really hard life. This will be some really fun things to cut out, and you can use... Um, to glue on to different things. So I'm going to save the pages, but I want the book cover. So I'm going to take my razor blade. Yes, I know some people use um, like a craft knife or something, but I've always just used razor blades for almost everything. And I'm just going to cut the pages out of this book and hold it so you're not cutting through the outside spine and just cut down on both sides to remove the pages. And I'm going to apologize in advance. I do think I'm coming down with a cold. <clears throat> so bear with me on that. I'll do my best not to sniff all the time. So there. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, put grommets on each side of this little cover. And a grommet is like a big brother to an eyelet. I've already done one side, so now I'm going to mark and do the second side. And I'm not going to film it because you put this little piece of wood down, you um, put this little cutter on top and then you just whack it with a hammer until it goes through and it makes a lot of noise. So let me do that and I'll be right back. So I have these two hole punch two holes punched through the cover but you can see that the cover needs a little bit of reinforcing so I'm just going to glue a piece of paper down. I have set it down, made a mark, so now I'm going to cut it to size. You want to make sure you leave enough paper to go through the, the spine of the book back there. So there we go. So now I'm going to spend some time and really glue this on and then it will be super easy to use my cutter to go through just this piece of paper and um, continue my holes. So I've applied a lot of glue to the back of the paper but I'm also going to glue down this spine because I want it to adhere really well. where a bone folder comes in really nice and handy. See it squished the glue right out the top. <clears throat> and you know if you don't have a bone folder or something like this you could use a credit card or a little gift card whatever you have but get down so that you're pushing that paper into the old binding area of the book. Making sure all your corners are nice and attached. So just keep working this until it dries a little. See more glues coming out. Okay so now I have the holes cut through the paper. Okay so you put this piece through the outside here you put on this little ring on the top. Then there is this little anvil. You can do it on this or on your tabletop. And then this little anvil piece that goes down in there like that. And it goes down into the 
hole that's in this like that and then you pound it and now your grommet is secure so I'll do that on both sides so now my grommets are attached the next thing I did is I measured up from the base of the spine up to here and decided that um, a three inch, we're gonna make this, I'll show you how I made it. I just cut the paper three inches and then scored it and fan folded it. And if you're making something small like this, this little piece here can't be bigger than your spine. So this is about the same size as my spine. So I'm going to tape that in there and it's going to open up like that. So let me show you how to make this. Cut your paper three inches. And then just go along and um, score it every half inch all the way down the paper. and take and just fan fold it. So there's that. Now we have both sides. So for my little dividers, I need to cut them five and a quarter inches. By three inches. So the next thing I'm going to do is attach these into here and I'm going to use double sided tape. So I ended up with four dividers, so let's find the middle. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So let's just do one, two, three, four, and do another one. Mm. One, two, three, four.
And then our last one right here. Looking good. So let's do the other side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now we're ready to put this in the book. Okay, so I added just a little bit of rickrack for decoration along the edge. Now it's time to put in our little dividers. I think it's easier to work with them if we put them in little clips. So let's give this a go and see what's what. Okay, I'm gonna add tape on both sides. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
and placing it in the center I'm gonna just close the book and now I'm gonna do tape on this side I'm going to take off my clamps. And give it a good push. So here is my little pocket folder. I wanted this for um, storing like little stickers and things like that. And now I need to come up with a closure for here. So I'm going to attach my twill tape. I'm just going to do a little half knot here in the back like that and then run this up through the front. And then as it gets fuller, it gives me room to have it open a little, Or, but for now, I can just close it up like this. And it's quicker than tying a bow. So here is my newest little sticker storage pouch, storage. So I hope you enjoyed this project. This was Cindy from Bless My Pixels.